Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I do apologize, I am about two weeks late with this relaxer update, but I definitely wanted to follow up with you ladies and let everybody know what has been going on with my hair. So yeah, I did get a relaxer about two weeks ago and I was hoping to have already had my hair trimmed before I went in for my relaxer just because I like to do that to make sure it's healthy before I'm putting any chemicals on my hair. But unfortunately Brittany was not available to trim my ends. She did end up calling me the very next day after I got my relaxer but I was already planning on going on vacation that following week when she was available to trim my hair. So my hair was just a hot mess. When I went in for my relaxers, you know, my hair was already moisturized. You know, I came out of there and I felt like my ends were way worse. They were just splitting, they were straggly, and I do have a picture of what my ends look like and I will insert a picture of what they did look like. So I did decide while I was, you know, visiting my boyfriend out of town that I was going to let him trim my hair because, I mean, he does have a little bit of experience with trimming, you know, his daughter's hair. So I was like, okay, you know, can you please trim my hair because my hair is just a hot mess. It's raggedy it's shedding I'm getting those little tiny pieces of hair that are shedding everywhere so I'm like okay my hair's breaking off and it's getting worse and worse and worse by the day so I'm like okay just trim my hair just go ahead and do it so he ended up cutting you know maybe an inch or so off maybe a little bit less but it wasn't anything dramatic or anything like that so immediately after I felt like my ends felt better I was like okay this is a lot better like I'm happy so the week when I got home that following week I washed my hair and I'm like no detangling my hair it's so hard to detangle every time my hair is extremely hard to detangle I'm like I need a trim and it was so hard to detangle and it was shedding still and I was still getting breakage and I'm like I need some more hair cut off. So I text Brittany that night and then the following day I was able to go to her house and she did trim a little bit more of my hair off. So when I got home, you know, I was combing through my hair. I didn't get any shedding at all. No small pieces of hair. Everything was just basically evened out and all the split ends were gone and my hair felt so much better like I didn't even care that my hair's a little bit shorter it's like whatever it's gonna grow back this is my first trim of 2016 my last trim was a week before Christmas so the end of last year but I normally don't wait four months in between trims I rather kind of keep up with it and keep up with my ends I get you know I'm able to retain more length that way when I'm keeping up with it instead of you know waiting for months and my ends are at that point where they're breaking off. I don't like to do that, but I was wearing my wig for about three to four weeks, so I was doing that as a protective style, and I was trying to make sure my hair was moisturized and sealed while I was wearing my wig, because I know the wig cap sometimes dries out my hair a little bit when, when I'm wearing a wig. Also, I did cut back on the heat a lot. You know, I'm only using heat maybe about once a month instead of like every time I wash my hair so I felt I was doing really good with that um, I did wait about nine weeks in between my last relaxer and this relaxer and I did schedule my next appointment ten weeks out instead of the nine weeks so I am gonna go that extra week I typically do not like to stretch my relaxers I did at one point because I was like hey I'm not gonna get relaxers anymore I'm going to try to transition but um, I went about four or five months without a relaxer and my hair was just so hard to deal with it just got tangled matted all that stuff it was just really really hard to keep up with so I'm like I'm not doing it anymore and everybody's different some people like to stretch some people don't I personally the longest that I would go 
maybe three months. Anything over that is just not going to be what I want to do. And I will say that my hair is not bone straight. My hair is not bone straight. It's never been bone straight with a relaxer. I feel like for my type of hair, in order to get it bone straight, it would have to be, I would need something super strength or something stronger than what, you know, I get now, which is like a regular strength relaxer. So, and then um, my hairstylist always says, it's good that I have texture on my hair anyways. She always says it's never good to have bone straight hair because that means that your hair is over processed if it's bone straight. So... You know, I do have to take a little bit of time out to make sure my hair is detangled because I still have that texture in there. So that's kind of what my hair is like. So by the time I have my next relaxer done, I think it's like somewhere a, a few days before July 4th, somewhere around there. So that'll be probably around the time that I do my Biotin growth hair challenge update so I'll let everybody know how much length that I got or if I get more length than I usually do by taking the biotin supplements so I'll let everybody know about that and also I did have a few requests for a braid out tutorial as well as a flexi rod tutorial so I will definitely be getting those posted um, within the next I'd say week to two weeks so watch out for that also I have a few DIYs coming up you know that I want to do and share with you guys as well so if anybody has any questions comments concerns please leave them down in the comment section and I will get back to you and thanks everybody for watching and I will see you in the next video